to wake you up. Nobody is going to wake you up in the morning. Nobody going to tap you and wake you up. If you're waiting for your coach to wake you up, to go in that football field, to go in that boxing ring, to go run that track, you ain't ready for it. You ain't ready to build a legacy. Look around you. People that build legacy come from consistency. How? Huh? First, you got to be committed. First, you got to dream. You got to dream and you got to see it in your dream. And you got to get up. And you got to get up and you got to stay the commitment to it. You know what I'm saying? Without commitment, with no dedication, you're not going nowhere. Because you wake up every day and you're running. You're running, you're doing this, you're doing that. You ain't making no progress. Don't miss the moment with progress. What have you doing? 365 days. I know where I've been. I know where I accomplished. I know where I'm going. Every morning I wake up with that hunger. Every morning I wake up, I want to go hard because I want to build a legacy. I want to build something for the generation wealth. Who have you inspired? Who have you motivated this morning? Huh? Who? Who life have you changed? And somebody go on your page right now. What can they take from your page? What can you inspire them to do? Are they going to stay? Are they going to hit that unfollow button? What type of knowledge? What type of wisdom? What type of education? What type of inspiration are you giving? Are you being inspired by them? All day, be inspired by what you say. All day, be inspired. Are they changing the life of what you said? Are they changing the, the mindset of what you said? I still, I was in the street with you. I was locked up in the back of the cop car. I was in the cell locked up 23 hours. All I did was change my mindset. When I switched my mindset, everything changed. My clothes never changed. My pants never changed. My mindset changed. Then my mindset changed. It's opened doors for people around me. What legacy are you building? Are you building a great legacy? What is it about your community wealth? Are you part of your community? Are you motivating people in your community? Are you helping people in your community to be better? Are you whining and you complaining about your neighborhood? You whining and complaining about your block you came from? You whining and complaining? Shit ain't been done. You whining about the man. You whining about this, this, and that. What are you doing? What is your community wealth? Can your son walk down the street? Can your kids walk down the street? And everybody say, how you doing? We know your father. That legacy. Physical wealth. What about your physical wealth? What have you put in your body? The water you're drinking. The movie you're watching. What you're listening to. It's all part of your physical will. Are you waking up in the morning? Are you walking? Are you jogging? Are you taking care of your health? You want to live long to see your grandkids. You want to live long to be an inspiration to your city. We talk about physical wealth. We talk about community wealth. Huh? What about social wealth? Social wealth, who are you hanging around? Who are these people you having a conversation? Go through your car law and see who have you talked to. Do you have a millionaire that you can call? Do you have a billionaire that you can call? Do you have somebody that you can call and say, I need you? And they stop whatever they're doing and pull up on you. Social wealth. Simple-minded people discuss other people's situation. The ideas the ideas, the ideas, community wealth, social wealth, physical wealth, your spiritual wealth. Are you praying three times a day? Are you on your knees in the morning asking God for another day? Are you in the morning and praying for your family, praying for your son? Who promised you tomorrow? You kiss your daughter, you kiss your son, you kiss your wife, you kiss your girl. And you walk out of that door and say, I'm coming back. Who told you you were going to come back? You ain't even prayed before you left the house. You ain't pray. You take all the glory for yourself. Everything that happened in your life, you glorify yourself. 
Have you ever give God the praise? Have you get on your knees in the morning and grab your slippers out of your bed and get on your knees and say, God, thank you for gratitude. Thank you for this morning. The greatest experience, the greatest gift ever, in, the greatest accomplishment ever in life is just to wake up and say, I'm breathing. Thank you, God, for another day. Thank you. Because a lot of people went to bed. They didn't understand. They didn't wake up. They was healthy. They were healthy. They never get up. And you had the opportunity to get up. And the first thing you do is complain. And you whine. You whine. Spiritual wealth. Spiritual. You got to be in time with God. You got to understand that the word is created through him. He in your image. It's God. If you believe that God made you, that means you can accomplish anything you put your mind to. Anything you can put your mind to. You just got to be ready. Build a legacy for your children. My father wasn't dead. My mother wasn't dead. My aunt, my auntie, they said I wasn't going to be shit. What's it gonna be nothing? The teacher said you ain't gonna be nothing. You're gonna be dead before the age of 21. You made it this far. Build a legacy. Build a generation wealth. You a selfish person if you let your kids feel what you felt. You let your kids go through what you went through. You let your kids slept on the ground. You let your kids feel everything that you felt from start. And what type of man are you? What type of legacy are you building? What type of sacrifice are you building? Build a legacy. A legacy starts from consistency. Doing things every day and it gets into your nature and get into your DNA. Every day you're doing something. Every day you're doing something. Now it becomes you fail, you get back up. You fall, you get back up. You ain't falling backwards, you're falling forward because you know what you're saying. Because when you fall, you're like, okay, I'm going to hit this wall, but I'm going to get back up. I fall 20 times, I get back up 22 times. And I keep pushing and I keep driving because I build a legacy for the children. What you gonna leave back? If you die today and your kids come over your grave and hold his microphone and say, my dad wasn't nothing. My dad was a sucker. He spit on your grave. He ain't left nothing back. He ain't built nothing. He ain't never motivated me. He ain't never inspired me to be great. What's your crying for? Never left nothing. Every idea he had, he never pursued it. Every dream that he had, he never pursued it. Every chance that he had on this earth, he never reached the full potential. Do you cry for this man? This man ain't nothing. He ain't left nothing behind for us. What can we live on? No legacy is built. So why are we here? And your son just dropped the microphone and walk off. Build your legacy. 